What's happening YouTube? Darren from Tech Monkeys here, back with the latest in our Tech Tips videos. That's right, three in a day, I am on a roll. Uh, tech Tips is where we answer your questions and questions we've found from around the internet that we see time and time again, and we think it's about time somebody made a video to make it a little easier to get these things fixed. Uh, as always, a little reminder, leave us your questions in the comments below, catch us on Twitter, and we might just create a video helping you fix your problem or answer your question. Today's question comes from insane tomato 95 on the reddit tech support forum uh he's asking uh windows 10 explorer.exe crashing whenever i scroll over the option in the right click menu or scroll over a new option fairly common issue it's been around since windows 98 and above uh and it's basically down to an application you've got installed or had installed that has left what's called a context menu uh in windows explorer if you're not sure what windows explorer is this is it it's where you browse your computer, it's where you find your files, it's where you go looking for bits and pieces, find out about your drives and information and all those bits and pieces. Uh, and a context menu, in this case, is when you right-click. When you right-click on any of these things, you will get a menu pop-up with various options. And in here are various Microsoft and Windows related context menus, open, open a new window, pin, all those things. And then third party, VLC player, tree size, uh, Bitdefender, WinRAR, all those sorts of things are what are known as third party context, context menus even. So what's probably happening is you've got a context, a third party application that is broken or something you've uninstalled and it's left the context menu behind. When you try to right click, it's crashing your system or it's crashing Explorer more. Likely. So what can you do about it? Well, pretty simple, really. You want to head over to nursoft.net. Uh, Nursoft, by the way, make excellent utilities for troubleshooting and fixing various problems. Uh, the one we're going to be looking at today is Shell X View. Uh, it's quite an old application, but it still works, as you can see, from Windows 98 right through Windows 10 64-bit. Excuse me. Uh, and what it will do is it will help you look at what context menus you have within uh, Windows Explorer and then you can disable and enable them. So to get the program itself scroll down right back down to just below where it says feedback and you'll see downloaders here. I've downloaded this one you can download a self installer you can download the 64-bit one I'm actually on the 64-bit but this worked fine download it unzip it to a folder where you can find it and then run the application so uh, let me find where I have downloaded it. I don't know what we'll, we'll run through it again. There we go. Shell X view. Run it. Extract it. Open it. Yeah, I'm going to replace it. And here we go. It puts these. I think you'll only have three files. I think I've got a fourth file because I've already run it once. And all you do is double click this shell X view .exe, Click yes to the prompt. And after a few seconds, what yours will actually look like is this. Boom. Too much information. Information overload. Mind blown. Don't worry about it. Most of these are system uh, context menus. Stuff that Microsoft have built into Windows. You don't really need to worry about those. They're unlikely to be the cause of it. They could be, in which case the same process will apply once I show you what to do. Um... But what you want to do is click options, choose hide all Microsoft extensions, a much more manageable list. And as I said, these are third party. So if I go back to here, right click, you can see in there I've got Notepad, which is Notepad, WinRAR, WinRAR, Bitdefender, Bitdefender is in there somewhere, BD class menu, shows you the company who makes it, shows you information about the application so you can get an idea of what it is and where it's from. I've got one here, I'm not sure where it is. Sh a simple SHL EXT class but if I scroll over to the right and see where it's installed I can see it's part of ATI which is part of some driver on my system that I don't need to worry about I know ATI are a good company and again I've got notepad but I know what notepad is even though it doesn't say the company name I know who it is so what can you do about it how do you fix it well uh, well the first thing you need to know is which one's causing it now unfortunately you don't know off the top of the bat so the best thing to do select them all to do that, click on the bottom one or the top one, hold the shift key and then click on the top to select all and click the little red light. That will disable all the context menus. Now what you'll see is when you right click, they're still all there. That's because 
it won't take effect till you log out and log back in. Now, for the purposes of video, just so I don't have to stop the recording, I'm going to kill Explorer instead, which is another way of doing it, but you can, the easiest way is just to log out your computer, log back in, and it'll reload Explorer. Uh, Explorer. There we go. So, let's have a look now. If I open up Explorer and right-click on anything, I now lo no longer have WinRAR. I no longer have uh, Bitdefender, NVIDIA, uh, Autotask Workplace, or Sooner as it's called in there. You can see they're all gone. So once you've disabled them, go back and check. Has your issue gone? Is Explorer no longer crashing when you're right-clicking and go into the menus? Still got VLC, so I probably would if it was one of those and tree sides need to dig a little deeper. They'll probably be listed in there under the Microsoft Shell extensions. I'll have to find them, dig them out, uh, which you can do just by... Uh, sorting them by company name, sorting them by where they're installed. Um, I believe there's a search. Yep, there is. So, tree. Doesn't find anything. So, you if there's some in there and you're still having problems, you're going to have to dig a little bit deeper. But in 99% of cases, this will show you how to fix the issue. So, we've disabled them all. Let's bring that back to how it looked. How do we now know which one it was? Unfortunately, it's a process of elimination. What you're going to have to do is re-enable them one by one. So let's re-enable the WinRAS. Yes. And I'm just going to kill Explorer again, just so I don't have to log out and log back in. Reload it. And now we have the WinRAS options back. So reload one or two or three or four right reload explorer or log out log back in and go back into it if it crashes you found your culprit if it doesn't go back and enable the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one until you find and keep repeating the process so enable one log out log back in right click is it fixed yeah great keep going until you find the one that crashes it once you've found what crashes it if it's not something you need disable it disable it I'm not sure whether you can uh, actually just delete it from here. No, so just leave it disabled. It's your safest way. If it's a program you've got installed still, it's still an active program. Uninstall the program from uh, Control Panel. So Control Panel, Programs and Features, find your application, take it off, uninstall it, get rid of it. Uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a seven minute long video fixing your problem. If it's helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. If it hasn't, still like it and subscribe it, but leave us a comment below uh, telling us what's still going wrong, what you tried, what went wrong, and if we can, we'll help you that little further. We're still looking for that one user we will do a remote support session for and fix your specific issue and post a video to YouTube. If you'd like that to be you, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And until the next video, stay safe.